Well met. Today's album review is a live album, which is a bit tricky to compare to uh, studio albums, as you can guess. But the sounds, the concept of the albums and whatever are different. But this one is a good live band as well as a really good studio band, at least if you ask me. It's one of my Norwegian favorites called Enslaved. And this is Roadburn Live. Uh, obviously recorded in Roadburn uh, Festival in Netherlands. This is a nice uh, digibag release without uh, lots of extra stuff. So just a CD. No booklet here, all the info it can be found underneath. Uh, there's a sticker for fans, obviously. Um, it's eight tracks total and uh, features one of, uh, I mean, the first ever recorded cover song by Enslaved. It's a Led Zeppelin cover song, uh, Immigrant Song, which is a pretty nice and kind of does its, you know, justice to its, the original band. And the rest of the songs are more on the newer side of uh, Enslaved's career. Uh, four first albums are totally being ignored, which kind of gets explained being a Roadburn live uh, festival that is not very much known as a, a dead metal, black metal or anything extreme metal side. As many of you know, uh, Enslaved's um, later produ production and albums are more on the progressive side. Of course, you can still hear some Viking metal elements here and there, but the music is obviously more uh, influenced on such bands like Pink Floyd, King Crimson and whatever. So basically, modern progressive metal with lots of 70s and whatnot, atmospheric metal, progressive metal, even uh, adult-oriented rock or whatever you want to call it. So, Enslaved uh, has done good work being a really good live band and this is obviously uh, done with Roadburn in their mind and as such it's okay it's actually good but lack of the older tracks kind of makes it a bit of a disappointment uh, three of the tracks if I remember correctly are from the latest album In Times which is a really good album there's some other tracks from previous albums, like one from Isa and one from Monumention, which is actually the older tracks, uh, oldest tracks, uh, a track uh, on this album, but they are not that good, if you ask me. So what this is all about is basically a collection of songs on the later career of the band's albums, and as such, it's not, you know. Uh, getting onto the level of their later, latest studio albums, which are, in my opinion, are the better side of the band. So, Roadburn Live, for me, being an Enslaved fan, is a bit of a disappointment. It's not a compilation I was hoping for, and because it's a live album, and as such, it's basically not delivering what I was expecting. The sounds are pretty okay and there's live chants and uh, uh, guests, musicians from various bands. They don't make that much a difference. If you're a really hardcore Enslaved fan or if you just love live albums, then this is a must buy. At least, you know, it's a good addition to your collection and uh, if you like live albums, it's not gonna get much better than this, but the overall is a bit of a disappointment considering how good work they have done with the studio albums. So if you get a chance to see it's like live, do it, but focus on the studio albums, not this one. Still, with all the minor disappointments and flaws, thumb up. Our uh, next review will be something totally different. And until that time, leave your comments on our uh, Facebook page and more reviews on tldrmetal.com. Stay tuned or stay crushed.